Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel uh, to another video of this uh, Total Overdose gameplay series. So, in this video, I'm going to uh, continue from where we stopped yesterday. After we played yesterday, I went on to explore uh, more of the city and I collected uh, so I collected more of more points. So as you can see, my global score has increased massively. Now I have uh, two shotguns as well. Uh, so the shotguns have also increased. So now uh, we have to continue the game. In order to continue continue the game, so first there are these uh, small point challenges which you have to complete. Until unless you complete those small point challenges, uh, you cannot uh, further you cannot continue further in the game. So as you can see in the map there are two stars. So how to uh, collect the how to play those small missions so we have two two of these small missions so if i just press escape and uh, choose the letter a i can get off these two challenges one is the burrito boost and uh, one that another one is dope dealers must die so just play any one of them to so you can just unlock the next main mission and uh, after collecting 600 of these points in this stage you will be able to receive uh, one more point challenge one more point challenge like this so these missions are also very cool to play it all depends on how much you want to play uh, so but a few of these missions you just have to complete in order to continue the next to the next main stage okay so let's i'll try to play i'll play both of these in this video and then uh, I'll make a separate video for the next main mission. Okay, the next main mission, the first main mission, it is going to be a huge uh, uh, mission. It will be almost 20 minutes to play that. So let us complete the these two point challenges one and three. So let's play point challenge number one, that is burrito boost. Let's see what it what it is all about. So burrito boost is all about uh, so you just have there will be one uh, burrito stand that is a drug stand you just have to damage it and uh, you have to you see this policeman here uh, you just have to collect the dope uh, drugs packet over there and you have to bring it back to him okay that is the stage all about so I'm just increasing this hand grenades okay just take a car any of these cars now uh, okay, just stand in front of the car and go across to that and just press F. Okay, now we have the car. So drive it very slowly and carefully. So now, here you see there is a small stand at the end of the this road uh, beside that red colored stop button. So you can see a white colored car is also coming behind that. So you just have to hit it with your car and jump, perform an exit stunt. Okay. I'll try to do that from this from this place. I'll just turn the car again. So you see, beside the food, tequila, and taco stand, you can see that stand over there. You just have to hit it. Okay. So how do you hit that? Make sure that there is no one. Just jump. That's it. That's a huge chaos. Beautiful mess. I like this. Yes. See. Yeah. Now get the dope. And kill these people. Okay. Now you just have to return this dope to the policeman. But before that, uh, you just have to earn the minimum score that is required for this stage. So kill all these people and earn the stage. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And don't forget to collect their guns. Uh, so don't waste your heavy guns. Uh, try to use your regular guns as much as possible. Because you need, you'll be needing uh, more guns for the next stage. And these guns will be carried forward. Uh, these guns will be carrying forward in, for your next stage. Okay. Okay. So you shoot them. Look at, look at the white colored uh, small dot very disappointing at so carefully kill them so there's one rewind that i required i got it good so yeah 
that's good okay now there are a couple of people on the top of this building okay they are not there okay I'm just going to kill them with my regular guns die good yes is there anyone else I still hear the gun sounds so shoot them okay I think we will be having a couple of more people behind the building yes oh this guy is throwing the Molotov mock cocktails yeah Molotov cocktail that's that's one uh, flammable bottles which we they'll be throwing on us so that's also a cool weapon for you so again your adrenaline bar has increased and our stamina has also increased that's good so this is why you have to keep playing and collect more guns this will be increasing your guns capacity as well okay now just get down and hand over the door to the policeman that's when this mission will be completed so little drop in the life that's okay collect your this thing okay i still hear one sound here very safe i'm right here buddy shoot me okay i don't see them okay i can take any of these cards so just get away across and go to the policeman so it's also uh, before playing this uh, before going to the policeman i just want to tell that uh, explore the top of these buildings as well yesterday i did uh, i did not uh, record all of that uh, because you know uh, it was getting very lengthy so there will be a lot of uh, these uh, 3000 coins 3000 points over here so this way you just uh, how i performed the exist as uh, stunt just now so you have to uh, make the car jump very high and get on the top of these buildings and explore uh, uh, all of these buildings you will be getting more points over here okay so now i'm just going to the policeman and return the door okay so just get down get down yeah so that's how you finish the stage okay now you can see the rewards so we have earned more rewards so next we have also unlocked one more point challenge which is called the burrito shopping okay now let's explore the next stage the next stage we have is called yes as you can see the main stage has unlocked so the main stage has a different icon and uh, so our point challenges will be indicated in stars you have to play as much as possible for you so burrito shopping is just a killing a more number of it's just the same thing what we just now did i'm not going to record that uh, i'm just going to play this dope dealers must die in burrito shopping you will be having three uh, burrito stands just now you had one it will be three it's the same stage just now of what we did okay so i'm just going to play this dope dealers must die and in the next video we will be playing the smash the stash uh, main stage okay okay so dope dealers must die point challenge number three so let's see how what we have to do so a new story mission has been indicated by the icon yeah that's the tip okay okay now use your regular guns you don't need fancy guns for this for these people and collect their guns do not forget to collect their guns okay so just kill them there are 13 people for you to kill so as i said earlier shoot these barrels whenever it's possible so they are on the roof yeah kill them there are a couple of more people here yes so it's very important that you explore each and every corner so that you can collect more rewards like this so kill them yeah 
get on top of this building and here be very careful so eight first killer this guy who's throwing you throwing bombs at you the flammable bombs they are very dangerous to you so refill whatever guns are shot in your uh, guns okay refill the guns which are shot on bullets okay and there are more two of these people kill them yes i can see them so what i'll do is let's get more fancy that's good so we have killed all the 13 people now so yes that's a good score yes so as you can see i have played two of these <coughs> two of these challenges okay now let's jump to get this 500 okay and let's play this uh, day of the dead once again now here's a different day of Welcome the day. What I will do day is I'll try to play it in the subway what you see here. So the idea is if I play this game in the subway, you will be able to get more number of uh, this day of the dead, uh, these skeleton people. So these devils, you will be able to get more of them, and you can get more guns. That is my idea. But will also you just have to look back once again. You will be finding right there. If you feel they are short enough, uh, you don't find them. Just look back and look back once again. You'll be able to. They'll be right behind you. Spicy move. So in this subway, I can kill more number of these people. That is the idea I came here. So I'm killing as much as possible. So as you can see, just look back once again. You'll be able to find them. Here. So normally I will be able to kill almost 13 to 14 people. Here I was able to kill 16. Well you can kill more if you wanted to. Okay. See the global score has also increased nicely. So get out of this subway. Okay. And collect more weapons. So these are your weapon stands. If you see them, uh, just press F in front of them. So you will be able to refill some of your guns. Uh, so whatever uh, rewards are there, you can just collect it. Okay. So I'm just mo exploring more of this place to see uh, if there is any more scores left for us. So there's a 500, I'll collect that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's nothing left. So I'm just uh, going to play the next main mission. So see you in the next video. So I'll play the next main stage that is Smash the Stash. It's going to be a very interesting mission. So I'll make a separate video about this. It's going to be a very lengthy mission as well. So see you in the next one.